here's a quick impression for you. Uh, this is the only impression I do. Uh, this is my whole life. Here's my father uh, struggling to express pride towards his sons. Watch for this. Very subtle. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just walks off. You were past your boy. Well, it's just like my whole life was like trying to guess the emotions of an animal. I was just like, what, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you proud of me? Are you just. My whole life would have been easier if my dad had a tail. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dad caught me having sex once. Is that, has that happened to somebody here? It's... No? All right, I'll tell my story. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. It was right at the end of high school, and, uh, and I'd, uh, I'd gone away for a month to visit my grandparents, which I always did, right? And, uh, and I, uh, I come home, and I want to get reacquainted with my girlfriend, right? So, she and I are in the basement. We are getting reacquainted. And... That's stupid. <laughs> It's not like how I do it or anything. <laughs> You're tickling me. I know. Is it working? I don't know. If it, it's not. And, and then my dad comes home, and usually he would take his keys out and he'd throw them down beside the door, right? When he came in, and I would always hear it, like a two minute warning, right? Which is totally enough time. And then he would go upstairs and he would uh, change out of his work clothes and come downstairs and say, Hi, I was out of town, so he's all excited to see me, right? So he comes in and he throws down his keys, and I was like, Cool, I got two minutes. And then he hits the basement stairs, and I was like, I have zero minutes, oh my god. And eight stairs does not take very long, especially if you were at the bottom naked. It's, it's, it's like this, but my whole sense of time is just stretched out, because I can hear him coming, and I'm just like, we need a blanket. And we manage to grab it, and then we pull it up, and then try to pull off the illusion that we're watching television with our shirts off, like normal people. And, and it's hard to look casual watching television with your shirt off. And my dad walks into the room and just, oh, bless his heart, just, just takes way too long to realize what he's walked in on. <laughs> just starts a conversation with us. So regular, he's just like, hey, how was the flight? Everything was good? And I was like, mm, why would you do that? Because I am smooth under pressure. And, He's going to age. You see your Uncle Rex? Everything's good with your Uncle Rex? What's that? And I'm like, I don't know how to make him stop. He's going on like two and a half, three minutes of just inane banter. And I realized two and a half, three minutes, that's not very long in real life. But that is so long if your father's in the room and you're naked with a boner. It is so long. <laughs> it is just terrifying. And, but I don't know how to make him stop. He's going on. But I do get the satisfaction of seeing it register on his face when he realizes what he's walked in on. Because he's like, hey, did you talk to your grandma about the... <gasps> Yeah. 